do all this romantic dancing. I don't know what, well, what's the story. Well, there? she's quite a, a hobby in it. She's any hobby that she takes up, uh, she, uh, like she all, all these paintings. She she took up painting down there and uh, paperwork and uh, she's uh, any craft that uh, comes up. Uh, she she takes that on too. So between the dancing and the craft work that she's got there, and met, she met so many nice people during the craft uh, that she, uh, they correspond quite a bit while we're not down there. So we made a lot of friends down there and they have a, such a, a, a nice place down there that they have a, a big outside swimming pool and an inside swimming pool and they have all these uh, craft shops that, that you could go to, uh, carpenter shops or beadwork or uh, any type of uh, craft, they, they have it down there. And um, she's met a lot of friends and it's nice to meet new people and uh, see, see different sights. So uh, we kind of miss it down there, but I think we're get, at an age where we're going to have to sell down there. Just, uh, too too far away, and uh, we can't your, dance anymore. And uh, as you're closing in on a hundred years old, right? no, <laughs> there so a lot of people are still coming down because the prices of home and property down there is half what it is here. They could they could get a a, a beautiful house down there for about uh, twenty thousand dollars. Uh, down there up here probably cost them a hundred thousand up here. So a lot of people are moving down there in Yuma and uh, it's just growing fast. Uh, there's so many things to do down there in the, the summertime though. It gets a hundred degrees, 120 degrees and so you have to more or live, live under an air conditioner all the time and even the swimming pools they have sprays water going over the top of them all day long. So the only thing wrong with that, the women's hair gets, they get uh, wet, so they, they have to wait some, till the evening when they haven't got the spray so they can go swimming without getting their hair all messed up. But um, it's, a, it's quite a big, big place there. Um, it's quite expensive, uh, but people uh, uh, moving down now, now, now they're, they're living down there full time. It's, uh, it's much cheaper than uh, just pay their rent and um, the food down there, like you can, your lettuce, you can get four heads of lettuce for a dollar down there, uh, oranges and grapefruit. Or, plentiful down there and they grow vegetables all the time so we, your food food is almost half what it is here up in the in uh, in, in California now they they stopped growing lettuce about the about the first of uh, of April and they come up to the San Joaquin Valley here and they're, they're if, if you buy uh, lettuce it says foxy on it Though that's the same company that grows all the lettuce in the winter time there, and they send lettuce out all over the the United States. Those trucks come night and day through there, and they ice them up, and they take them all the way back to New York, uh, and they fly fly uh, lettuce and uh, tomatoes and fresh fruits all winter long. Uh, that's where also most of that comes out of Mexico, out of uh, Yuma. The, the, the river down there has uh, right. made the, uh, the sandy lands per, uh, 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 where they can grow everything all year long. During the winter time, uh, summertime, they grow a lot of wheat and barley, and, and then they start growing lettuce again uh, the first thing in uh, in January and they grow it until September until uh, April then it gets too hot so they have to grow another crop down there but they 
there's so much desert land has all been made in, and they, they grow more uh, lemon trees down there. Most of the lemon trees, the lemons are sold to uh, the Japanese. They make uh, so much out of lemons. They make that candy and grapefruit fall out, out of the skins. And uh, so they, I think uh, the Japanese buy more uh, lemons uh, from Yuma than anywhere else in the world. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Well, um, actually, John, I do have one more request. Um, you got me uh, intrigued by all of this uh, craft work that your wife does. I was thinking maybe I could point the camera around the room here and you could show me some of the things that she's done. Are these her paintings up here? Yes, yeah, those are some of her paintings. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Then you're still mic'd up, so you can talk to us and tell us what they are. And then um, I'll point this around here. Well, there's... in the other room, she has all her paintings in there and, and the craft work that she's done there. Uh, she painted all these uh, saws and... and uh, she painted so many saws and sold them. <laughs> wow. Did she sell the birds out there? Yeah. She made all those birds up there. She, even this furniture, she painted all this furniture. If you turn that chair around back there, turn it upside down, no, no, the chair, the, there's a, is okay. it, no, there's a lounge chair back there. Oh, here it is. Turn, turn that one upside down there. No, no, the other one. Oh, yeah, it's all painted under there. No, just turn, pick the, no, no, just, just, turn, just, just take the pad and turn it upside. That's what it looked like before. So she, she, Painted all the furniture and so it, she, but wow. it was yellow. It didn't match. I like this a lot better. So th those are the kind of things that she does. She painted all the furniture that used to be all yellow. Wow, that is really nice. Okay, so I'm going to stop.